it's Rachel and welcome back to my channel. Now, if you were thinking of buying a detox tea or one of those cleansing teas, I hope that you're watching this video before you've spent your money. So I really, really think that the detox teas and skinny teas and all those kind of things that you can buy right now are a massive waste of money. Now, that's not to say that tea is a bad thing. It's just these ones. You're paying about $60 for a packet of tea. It's really not hard to get sucked into wanting to buy one of these teas because you'll scroll somewhere on Instagram or you're looking on YouTube and there's these lovely beautiful girls and they're telling you, look at this tea I'm doing. It's made my stomach so flat. I feel so good. I feel amazing. My skin looks so good from this tea. They're getting paid to tell you that. The common thread that I see between a lot of these teas and their advertising is, oh, your body, it absorbs all these toxins while you're breathing and living and just being a human being. And it's like, yeah, well we do, but we have a few organs that can detoxify us. You've got your skin, you've got kidneys, you've got liver, you've got lungs. That's what they're built for. And I think it's also really important to mention that if your body wasn't able to remove any toxins on its own, you would seriously need a medical intervention. There would be some biological problem with your body. And a lot of them also aren't very specific about what toxins, they just say toxins, okay. What are the name of these toxins? What exactly are they doing to my body? Something to think about. There's no real scientific or credible evidence that I could find that suggests that these detox teas work. Um, yeah, you get some before and after photos on the internet and that kind of thing. But has it actually been studied? Like it's a tea, they're selling it as a tea, as a product to detoxify your body. Where's all the scientific support for that? Because I feel like if this is a product that's being released, like a tea specifically designed for that, there should be studies on it. Now I was also having a look at the ingredients in these teas because I put up a little post on Instagram and I asked you guys, you know, what do you want me to talk about, all that kind of thing, and a few people mentioned ingredients. Now, I did write these down, so if I'm looking down, that's why. Now, most of them contain magnesium hydroxide, senna, rhubarb, and cascara. That's the four main ones that you see. Now these, they're laxatives. So yeah, the tea is gonna make you need to run to the bathroom a bit, or as they like to say, aid in your body's natural elimination. Now yes, you may be able to temporarily shed a kilo or two on one of these detoxes, and that's because they contain appetite suppressants, they have laxative pro properties, and diuretic properties. So they're gonna make you expel a lot more and not want to put as much into your body. So throughout the process of that happening, you're losing a lot of your water, which is making you dehydrated. And you might appear to have a bit more definition on your stomach, but that's because you've lost water weight. The same thing happens if you go out, have a big night drinking, and the next day you look like you're a bit more shredded, dehydration. And on top of that, if you follow some of these detoxes, you can actually lose muscle tissue and muscle weighs a lot more than fat does. What have we got? We've got cassia seed, which causes bowel movements. We've got shamza, or hawthorn berries, which relieve food stagnation. <laughs> and then we've got radish seeds. They have no anti-stress effects. They have no anti-fatigue effects. However, they can relieve bowel stagnation. Now, on top of that, these detox teas as well, because they're a diuretic, they're a laxative, they're an appetite suppressant, they actually mess with your gastrointestinal flora. So that's the stuff that's pretty much keeping your stomach in check. There's a very basic way to explain it. Now, quite a few of these also say that they will help reduce bloating. Yeah, you can reduce bloating because it's, it is aiding digestion, teas, do aid in digestion, that's just what they do. If you drink enough water, that also aids in digestion. If your body can digest its food properly, you're not gonna get that little pudge of a stomach, depending, depending on the rest of your diet and your exercise and blah, blah, blah. A lot of them also say they clear your skin. Now, tea has been around for so long, 
And I'm probably not the only person who knows that tea has so many benefits for your skin. You don't have to go and pay 55, 60, 70 dollars for a packet of tea for it to do that for your skin. It's not some amazing mystical plant that's not around before. It's just a mix of a few different types of teas. And keep in mind they're just making you one blend and they're selling it to everyone whereas there's different types of teas that are going to suit different skin types. So if you have dry skin you're best off to have calendula tea, lavender tea or chamomile tea. If you have like acne prone skin you want to have dandelion tea or you want to have valerian tea. And if you just want to be a bit healthier you need some more vitamin C in your body then you want to have rose hip tea or hibiscus tea. There are a few that I found for you guys. Now there's probably a few of you thinking, oh, but Rachel, you have a detox ebook. Like, what does that mean? You have a detox book, that's something. Yeah, because I do have a detox book and yes, I do sell it as a detox, but I couldn't really call it a seven day strict food plan to help get you unaddicted from sugar and fatty foods. That doesn't have the same ring to it. That's what my book does. It's a food plan that you follow for seven days. You cut your exercise down to a minimum. It's all whole foods. You can follow it if you're vegan and it's meant to be nutritious and you're getting those cravings out of your body. So you stop having the caffeine for a little bit. You're gonna stop having any sugary foods and you just find afterwards you don't want them anymore. So I called it a detox book because it's easier to call it a detox book than that whole other mouthful of a name. I realize I seem a bit like, worked up about this and it's probably because just before I watched a YouTube video where I won't name names but someone was telling people that they should just do a tea tox and walk three times a week and eat muesli bars and if you've read my blog you know how much I disagree with muesli bars but anyway let's get over that. Now um, Long-term damage from tea toxes. Yes, if you follow them for too long, you can get bowel damage. You can become dependent on needing the tea tox to go to the bathroom, and you can actually have electrolyte depletion from how much you're being dehydrated. Can it affect the contraceptive pill? Yes, if you have your contraceptive pill and then you have your tea tox within four hours, it actually reduces the effectiveness of the contraceptive pill because of the laxative effect of the tea. Are there any nutritional benefits? Depends on what kind of tea you're having. So you could probably just go out buy your own white tea or your own chamomile tea or oolong tea. One of those kinds of things would be pretty good for you. You don't have to have it as a tea tox. Tea in general can help with mental alertness like a green tea that has caffeine in it and clearing skin like we went over before and teas like oolong tea they're actually really good at lowering your LDL or your bad cholesterol levels. So that's pretty handy. Now you don't need to pay $50, $60, $70 for a box of tea. Go to your supermarket, pay $1.32 and then you've got quite a few servings of tea. So drink your water, eat your vegetables, lift some weights, get some sleep. They're the four most important things that you're going to do to see long-term changes in your body. I really hope that some of this information can help you guys out and that you learned a little bit from it. If any of it was helpful, I'd love if you'd give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I love being able to interact with you guys. If you have any other questions about detox teas or even my detox ebook, leave a question in the comments below and I'll try to get to it as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Hi everyone, it's Rachel and today I've got a little 25 minute home circuit workout routine for you.